Shelton, this is Urban Grandstand, and I'm with my man LeVar Mitchell, Hollywood Barbershop. What's happening? AKA Slight Burn on um, Instagram and on um, Facebook. How you feeling, my man? Can't complain, man. Can't, Can't complain, good, man. Good, just good. the grind, just the grind. You yeah, already know. Yeah. So what you what you got planning to be in a businessman and a professional barber? Cause your skills is phenomenal, man. Well you thank you. Yeah, thank you first and foremost for the compliment. I definitely appreciate that. But um Without a doubt, I'm a barber by trade, craft, and my skill. But um, I'm also focused in the other endeavors to being an entrepreneur on a different level. You know, I have a few different projects going on. Um, first, as far as my barber aspect, I'm offering a whole lot of different services that a lot of guys in this area are not offering. Different facials, different number of type facials. And then, um, like I said, even on the entrepreneurial aspect, um, I have a few other endeavors that I'm getting into. So. Just about growth, man. Just about growth. I don't want to reveal too much, but you know, you know, just just definitely growth. You'll definitely be seeing a lot of me. You know. Okay. So, so what happened in uh, Vegas? You know. Vegas, what man. With the trip, man. Well, in Vegas. You know, I, I um I was out there to to deliberately go to a barber um seminar, the um IBS International Beauty Show. You know. To, to be honest, though, unfortunately, I didn't make it, technical difficulties, but nonetheless, I've still been in further my education because I went to another seminar earlier this year in Columbus, Ohio. Um, it's called the iCup Pro Tour, and, you know, it put me in a real good position, position to learn more about the craft, the trade, and just further my education for more services to offer. So, you know, it's still, it's still all a good look, man. I'm still investing myself into the business and the craft, you know. So how long you been doing this? You know, I've been I've been I, I, I've been cutting since like 2002 professionally. That's when I got my license. Um, actually, to be real with you, man, I'm I'm just like most guys that come from urban areas, man. I was you know knucklehead running around, and I just needed to find something to to just uh, ends to justify means, you know, because I kept getting in trouble and things like that, and I just seen that it was a more entrepreneurial, self-sufficient route to have a legitimate lifestyle. So. I just I just put myself in that position and you know here we are Urban Grandstand. Man, you defined it though. You put the artwork in it and everything. You like take it from like if somebody come in with a bad hair or whatever, you can turn that into a good head and you could give them whatever they want in their head. You know what I mean? It's like an artwork to you. You know? Yeah, without a doubt, man. Thanks, thanks. I definitely appreciate it. But that's the main goal is to basically take something small and turn it into something else. When I when I look at each client. First and foremost, their head becomes a canvas to me, first and foremost. So I have to figure out ways to blend it and splash it and take things that are not so good attributes about the texture of their hair and make it into better attributes, you know, because the hair may lay a certain way, so I'll cut it a different way so it can lay a lot more evenly and smoother. And then, you know, you put a certain type of blend on it to where you won't even see those um, impediments and things of that sort. So. Yeah, man, it's just, I mean, I'm just looking to grow, man. What do you think about the rookie barbers that's looking up to you? Like, hey, what do I need to do to be on your level? You know what I mean? Like, what do you what do you have to say? Because I know you had some of them come at you. Like, hey, bro, I want to learn how to cut like you. What I need to do to learn or practice or what I need to get this, you know? Um, well, the thing is, stay motivated, stay hungry, and don't ever be content. It wouldn't matter if you have a skill level to be able to put a whole mural, Leonardo da Vinci mural in the back of somebody's head. Be, be, be hungry. Even if you can do something that skillful, be willing to put yourself in a position where you can do a Leonardo, a Picasso, and a Michelangelo, you know what I'm saying, somebody's head. You know, always look to grow, always look to strive. Don't be content with just standing in this small box right here. It's about constant growth, man. The day you stop living is the day you stop learning, man. You learn every day, so. You gotta consistently just want it. Like it's it's a hunger. Like you gotta get it, man. And that's just where I'm at with it. And by all means, to all the up and coming guys, they definitely need to take pictures of their work, even if they don't like it. Because if you take pictures of your work, you can see your strengths and you can see your weaknesses. Okay. So as long as you can see that, even if it's something you don't like, a design, a blend, if you see what it is, you're like, okay, maybe I need to work on this technique a little bit more, work on that technique. And then when you see your strengths, you can start exploiting those a lot more. So yeah, just just stay hungry and, and keep documentation everything you do. Oh, okay. 
And ladies, he know how to do ladies' hair too. You know what I mean? What, what's going on with that? You know what I mean? When I seen that, I was just like, oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? It's like you go to a different element and you could just do it all. Like, man, seriously, it's not too many people that could do that, honestly. Yeah. It's people be like, yeah, I could, like, guys here, but I, I don't want to mess no woman here up. Like, what, what well, motivates you? Well, to well, well, basically, it, it, what, what motivates me is the challenge, man. Like okay. I said, I'm just looking to grow consistently. I don't want to stay in one small content box. Like, I don't want to be labeled as this dude that only do tapers, only okay. do fades, or I only cut guys here, I only arch eyebrows. I want to have that that, that, that plethora, that, 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 that catalog of what I can do, that, that, that variety, just, just without a doubt. So if a woman comes to me, I may have a vision about something, or I may have an idea when I see a young lady, I may see a young lady in a magazine, or I may see a young lady out in the streets or in my travels, to where as though a young lady may have a similar texture of hair or, or have an idea of that, they may not necessarily know what they want. But I'll kind of put something on them to kind of, you know, get them in that direction. Next thing you know, like, that's exactly what I want. So it's, it's, it's like I said, it's just that constant hunger, man, that constant urge to grow, man. That, that's all it is, that constant urge to grow, man. You know? Just looking at the, everything you did in your artwork on like Instagram and all that stuff, it's just like, oh, you know what I mean? It just catch you like, man, this dude cold with it. Yeah. What other what other goals do you have too? Besides yeah. that, because I know I call you a, a artist <laughs> slash barber because you, you you wicked with the Clippers just to keep thanks, it 100. Man. You thanks, know what I'm saying? Man. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Go ahead, yep. Yeah. But um, it's like 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 I said, I just first and foremost. I want to be successful for my son, you know what I'm saying? That's first and foremost. I want to be successful for him, for, to him to let him know that he has options in this world, you know? Yeah. And then secondly, I want to be successful to the people around me in my community because don't get it twisted. I mean, I, I you know, th this is a craft and this is a business and I'm looking yeah. to grow, but I want to put myself in a position where I can give back to the community because like I said, you know, I, I didn't grow up in the most rough environment, but I didn't grow up in the easiest environment neither. And so considering that, I want to offer opportunities to some of these youngsters that feel that sense of hopelessness, you know what I'm saying, to be able to provide different programs and communities. But I understand what the game is hidden for. It takes money to make money. So with, with, with that being understood, you have to have money to invest, to invest into the future. So I want to offer programs to the youth. You know, so so that's that's what's motivated me, my son, and just adding back on to my community to see our community grow and be a much more productive place and environment instead of, you know, the negativity, man. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's man, that's good, man. <laughs> but one one thing I gotta get off my chest too is this. Um, every time I see your artwork and everything, I always think in my mind like it's time for him to have his own. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, nothing nothing to be said. I seen other code you know, artists and all that with the Clippers, but when I see you, I just be like, man, this dude need his own. It's like you deserve it, honestly. To keep it 100 with you, you deserve it, man. I, I definitely appreciate it. Um, that's in the works, but with any with with anything done correctly, it's yeah. all methodical. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a method to it, you know, it's a process to it, you know. I have other endeavors that I'm immersing myself into right now, and then once I feel a sense of totality with that, then I move on to the next thing. Because with any business endeavor, man, you have to put your business in a position where it's able to run itself and it's that, it's self-sufficient. You can just kind of look at it at a distance, but it's still doing good instead of tending to it like a child in its prenatal stages, you know what I'm saying? So my other endeavors, I'm really putting a lot of energy into because I know that those can put me in another plateau or, or another plane of where I want to be, I should say rather. And then once that happens, of course, without a doubt, I mean, it, it makes sense to be able to have my own, you know, establishment. But like I said, it's all methodical and it's, it's a process I want to go about and doing that again. So that's definitely the goal. I think you deserve that in your own boot camp. You know what I mean? <laughs> teach, teach them cats how to cut up like you, you know what I'm saying? Just the pro way to do it, you know? <laughs> Without that, hey, that's just keeping it real, you know? Thanks, so what else do you have planned for like your future too? Like your future and you know, what do you think about what's going on nowadays and other things, you know? Well how the way the world looking, you know, yeah, it's one hundred. Yeah, it's it's just wild, man, because just just you know, cause I'm from Akron, Ohio, man. This is where I'm born and raised from. This is, you know, from East Akron, this is what I know. And just the East Akron I see now opposed to, you know, some decades ago it's a whole lot of turmoil, it's a whole lot of dismay, it's just a whole lot of sad, unrestful things, man. And just when I see that, it motivates me 
to want to put myself in a position, like I said, to be successful on an entrepreneurial level as a barber and an entrepreneurial level as a businessman so I can give back. You know, I want to put myself in a position where I have a business and, and open up a nonprofit where so much of the proceeds is going to that nonprofit, but it's going to the community. You know what I mean? Like I said, I just want to put myself in a position where I could be beneficial to the community. I mean, the first law of nature is self-preservation, so of course I got to be right. My family got to be right. That's that's a no-brainer. But then once I make sure that my family is right, I want to plant some seeds back in the community. Even if we can only reach, or even if I can only reach one child, that's one that didn't in in, in the prison system or, or, or is up under the ground, you know? So and that's where I'm at with it, like sincerely, like that's that that's my heart, like man. It's, it's it's just sad to see some of these youngsters out here going through some of the trials and tribulations they go through. Not to mention the fact some of the things I went through, I like for them to avoid it, cause you know, unfortunately, I, I I've seen very hard times. We'll just put it that way. Very hard times at a very young age. You know, I shouldn't have been exposed to certain things I was exposed to at the age I was, and just to avoid that, you know put myself in a position, if nobody else would do it, to genuinely give back to these youngsters, you know, provide reading programs, computer programs, and field trips and centers with those programs, you know, so that, that's, that's, that's ultimately where I want to be, just to give back to the community, man. Word and, up. and that's a good thing, man, that's a blessing, man, you know, I like hearing that, you know. Well, you know, it is what it is. This is your boy Vernon Shelton, Urban Grandstand, and my man. LeVar Mitchell, a.k.a. at Slight Burn on Instagram, Slight underscore yeah. Burn, and on um, Facebook, Slight Burn, you know. Appreciate you. you know.